Let's connect the TP-Link RE330 range extender via WPS. Uh, first of all, plug the extender into the power socket next to the rotor and wait for the power LED indicator to start glow solid white. Not blinking like now, but it, it, must, it must be glowing. Just like now. Now you can continue. You need to find the WPS button on your rotor. Usually it's located on the back panel and it's labeled. So you will easily find the button. Press the button on the rotor and then within two minutes press this button with the padlock icon on your extender on the left side. And now you, you, you need just wait. You need to wait until or all four indicators uh, start glow solid white or if you have single band rotor uh, you will see only three indicators glowing so and in your Wi-Fi networks this TP-Link extender network will disappear and you will see two networks instead you will see the networks that are named same as your main rotor but with EXT abbreviation added to the end. EXT stands for extender and this means we have extender networks right now. So let's check. Four in a row. Power, Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz band and we have two networks, two extended networks in our Wi-Fi network list. We can connect to any uh, let's connect to 5 gigahertz. It's connected and now you can relocate uh, your extender, unplug it and plug it in back somewhere uh, in Wi-Fi dead zone. But make sure that uh, the extender is in the rotor's range. Uh, and if you see the red Wi-Fi signal, it means the signal Wi-Fi signal is too weak and you need to move the extender somewhere close to the rotor uh, into a different outlet. Uh, now you're all set, that's it, I hope it was helpful, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and be awesome, bye guys.